Hey there, Ramon Osu with you here, and welcome to video two in our mini tennis mastery training series. And I got a doozy for you today that can literally change the way you go ahead and make quality, consistent contact with the ball and begin to develop effortless power. It's a drill I call the automatic quality con contact <laughs> drill. I almost forgot the name of my own drill. That would have been something. Uh, it's something that I learned originally from Jack Brody when I was a 4.5 level player, and mastering this drill literally took me to the 5.0 level. So without further ado, let's head out to the courts and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. Alright, so we're going to start in the short court area here, reason being we're not trying to hit the ball hard. This is really more about feel and really developing the proper mechanics for learning to hit the ball hard effortlessly down the road. And to put it simply, all we're going to do is play with two hands on the racket the entire time. And this sounds really easy, and it probably looks pretty easy, despite the fact that apparently I didn't pick up that ball over there. I uh, hope you'll do as I say and not as I do, so pick up those landmines. It's really not worth taking a spill. But there's really much more to it than meets the eye. So first off, notice that when I'm doing this, I'm not taking my racket back, and you don't want to take your racket back either. You're keeping the racket almost connected to your belly button, then turning your hips and shoulders and slowly rotating into the court. If you've been watching me for a while, you know how I feel about the 45 degree angle. It's a great angle, probably the best angle in the game, the MVP of angles. And uh, we want to line up our hips to the 45 degree angle as the ball is coming in. This allows us to slowly rotate our hips into the shot and meet the ball right on, guess what? The 45 degree angle into the court. I wouldn't think too hard about this. You're gonna feel it. When you time it correctly, the ball will just fly off your racket easily. That's your ideal contact point. Now the second thing this drill does is it really forces you to get into great position. When you're playing with one hand, it's a lot easier to lunge, reach, stretch, and you know do all these gymnastics. But by keeping that second hand on the racket, your focus shifts necessarily to getting into a great position, setting up, and then whacking the ball. Uh, whacking, of course, being a very technical term that should be practiced with extreme precision at all times. Um, here's something else. Watch how as I'm receiving the ball, it looks like I'm kind of sucking the ball in. It's like I'm a vacuum cleaner. So the receiving of the ball and the sending of the ball is really integrated into one seamless motion. So if you look at Federer's forehand, you'll notice his hips are ideally very continuously moving in and out of the stroke when he's set up. So with this drill, you can really start to feel that. What you don't want to do, pretty much the worst way you can do this drill is to just go straight back with the racket, wait, 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 and then rotate really quickly into the court. That's a great way to screw up your timing and just lose the sense of rhythm that you want to feel. Now, in Ari's defense here, this is the first time he's ever done this drill, and I didn't want to break up the flow just yet, but as we continue to work together, this will be something that we work with him on a lot because it creates the coil, which is the potential energy that can be transferred into the whacking of the ball. So what we're doing here is training the center of our bodies here to be smooth, relaxed, connected to the ball and really efficient. Plus, it looks really cool. Now, finally, if your upper body is relaxed, and this may take a while for you, totally cool. It took me a while too, and it's still something that I work on. But if this is happening for you, you'll let your hips rotate first, and your arms will naturally be pulled into the hip. Now, a word of caution. It's easy to look at this drill and say, two hands, Ramon, what the? But I'm a one-handed player, it doesn't make sense. And I know because the first time I saw this drill, I'm like, this is ridiculous. Give me one hand on the racket. It feels way better. But trust me, share this video with your practice partner. Do this drill for five minutes before you start whacking the ball from the baseline. And I guarantee you'll make more quality contact and you'll begin to discover that elusive effortless power thing that you hear everyone talking about. Thanks so much for watching this video. I had a great time making it for you as I enjoy making every video for you. And I did this as really a celebration to commemorate the release of my new course called The Perfect Practice System. And The Perfect Practice System, or PPS if you're into the whole brevity thing, is all about streamlining your practice session and really being efficient in the way you practice in a really fun way. So you get the most results 
in the smallest amount of time possible. It's not available yet, but if you're interested in it, go ahead and click the button below. It'll take you to a sign-up page where you can get on the early bird list and be notified before the rest of the public uh, when it comes out. Thanks again for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.